This week on Inside Boulder News. Construction for new solar projects are set to start soon. Find out where. The city's transportation department has a new way to keep you safe during snowy conditions. And watch these middle school students get creative. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, your source for all things Boulder. I'm Jocelyn Evan Daniel. The City of Boulder has a climate commitment goal of reaching 100 megawatts of local renewable energy by the year 2030. And the Generation Solar Project is helping the city move one step closer to this goal by adding solar panels to 14 city-owned facilities. Construction of two solar projects will be starting soon. By April of 2020, the City of Boulder will have added 2.5 megawatts of solar power to 14 city facilities. That's enough to power more than 600 homes. And this is all thanks to the Generation Solar Project. So um, the city has a pretty aggressive climate commitment plan to reduce our impact on climate change. And with that are some associated goals and targets. And they range in all sorts of areas from emissions reductions to um, the one that we're specifically focusing on here is local renewable um, energy generation. And we the city has a goal of reaching 100 megawatts of local renewable energy by the year 2030. And just recently, Boulder met its 2020 goal of 50 megawatts of renewable energy, putting them ahead of schedule. The city wants to walk the talk and we would like our facilities to be as renewable and as energy efficient as possible. So we've done a lot of solar already on city facilities and we just wanted to maximize and do more. These solar installations, which range from downtown parking garages to rec centers, are expected to bring the city a savings total of one and a half million dollars over 30 years and will provide access to low-cost electricity with no upfront capital or ongoing maintenance costs from the city. A lot of the systems are in the permitting process right now, so we're going to be starting to install them at the beginning of November, and some of them are, are quicker than others. The first solar installations the city will start construction on are the downtown parking garages at 1500 Pro Street and the 1100 Spruce Street. When complete, it will include the added benefit of covered rooftop parking. Where we're standing now on the top of this parking garage is one of the longer lead times for construction because they have to build a whole steel structure um, to house the panels. And so that one will probably take all the way up until April. More information on the Generation Solar Project can be found on bouldercolorado.gov forward slash gensolar. Snow hit Boulder this week and across the Denver metro area. This meant snow boots and winter gear, but for the city, it was time to bring out the snow plows. And this year, the city has made some changes to make your commute safer. Busy is an understatement for Boulder's transportation department when it comes to snow days, often requiring prep work days ahead of a snowstorm. We, on average, plow about 52, almost 53% of our roads. Um, those are our primary routes um, that also include kind of emergency routes for fire and PD. And then we have some secondary routes, which are kind of those commuter feeder roadways. And then we do do some residential roads, and those are prioritized on shade and slope and steepness. 98% of multi-use paths are also regularly cleared by the city, with other entities such as CU Boulder and other city departments clearing the other portions of the city's paths. This year, Boulder's Transportation Department added a new pre-treatment to make everyone's commute a little safer. Salt brine has a lot of benefits, um, including it's got less of an impact on the environment. It allows us to pre-treat in advance before the storm, um, and it slows the bonding between the ice to either the multi-use path or the roadway. While the city does its part to make commutes safer, there are steps community members can take as well. It's Great for people to just remember that um, we can't maintain everything at normal conditions during and right after a snow event. So being extra cautious while cycling, walking, driving, and just remembering that um, it's, a, it's a little small price we have to pay to live in this beautiful place. Every year, the city likes to remind community members to give themselves plenty of time during snow events. Simple things like checking your car and bike tires and even your shoes are things we can do to keep safe. Give enough room for anybody doing snow removal, either, either on a multi-use path or a road, plenty of space um, so they can do their job safely and get you to where you need to go safely as well. And for those traveling around the Boulder community, there's an interactive map that will help you plan your route by car, bus, and multi-use paths. Check it out on the City of Boulder's website by searching snow. 
New safety signage and paint markings are a part of this Boulder neighborhood that houses Casey Middle School. This week, students from this Boulder school got together and got creative. 13th and High Street in this Casey Middle School neighborhood forms part of Boulder's first neighborhood, Green Street, an important part of the city's low-stress walk and bike network plan. Safety signage and paint markings are part of this low-traffic street, which the city says prioritizes the safety and comfort of cyclists and pedestrians. Casey Middle School's art department worked together with the city's Paint the Pavement program and made the intricate art design in the bull belt possible. A design that was curated by one of Casey Middle School's very own. So my idea was drips to have it look like it was kind of dripping from the street mm -hmm. and then just do abstract stuff underneath that and have bright fun colors so people are aware of it. I just wanted something kind of realistic looking with abstract underneath it so the drips are going to have highlights and shadows to make it look like they're coming off of the, yeah. the kind of stuff underneath. It will be a frightful sight down at the Pearl Street Mall this Halloween as hundreds of tiny ghosts and goblins are expected to invade the streets of this popular downtown destination. This October 31st, take your kids to the annual Munchkin Masquerade at the Pearl Street Mall. More than 100 businesses will be handing out treats this year. The event is put on by the Downtown Boulder Partnership, a nonprofit dedicated to the preservation and enhancement of downtown Boulder. More information can be found on boulderdowntown.com. Looking for exciting events to attend with your family this weekend? Don't miss Boulder Public Library's Family Play Festival. Drop in and play, sing, read, write, and talk at Spanish and English activity stations throughout the library. Educational activities will be available as well as take-home crafts and prizes. Don't miss the Family Play Festival this Saturday, October 26th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Boulder's Main Library. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's edition of Inside Boulder News. If you have pictures, news tips, or events you'd like to see featured, we'd love to hear from you. Connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe. And be sure to check out the city's online newsroom for the latest city news. Have a good week.